Lara, welcome to Now Binging. It's so lovely to see you. Uh, it feels like it's long since we met. <laughs> this is a show about what you watch and how that impacts yes. on you and Apple. And I want to start by asking, do you have, in fact, a lot of time to spend in front of a screen? Because I feel like you have such a hectic professional life. In a way, as an actor, I really can't complain because for the amount of consumption that's happening in this country right now, you can't actually make content fast enough. Uh, you know, for the rate at which people are consuming it. So every single actor right now, whether they were sitting at home for the last three years and out of work, everybody is working right now. So uh, there's a lot yes. of amazing stuff happening. And as a woman as well in the industry, as a producer, as an actor, I mean, I'm honestly having the best uh, time of my life in my career. I think a far better time than I've had even in the last decade, I would say. That's amazing. Okay, tell me what's a series that, that you must watch with the husband? I was in Rajasthan shooting a wonderful wedding series through October, September and October last year and I got hooked on to watching Schitt's Creek. It was simple, it was easy, it was 20 minute little capsules episodes. Uh, a lot of the times I woke up and I had my iPad still running and I was passed out beside it. Uh, but I ended up watching um, the entire, I think five seasons of Schitt's Creek and uh, Mahesh and my daughter were in the UK at that time because I had, they were, I was filming Bell Bottom, it's a long story. I was filming yeah. Bell Bottom, they had travelled with me, they decided to stay on since I was going to be in Rajasthan for two months. Uh, so he didn't watch it. But then when we met each other again at the end of October, I had to re-watch the entire <laughs> lot of shit speak with him. You know, Lara, I was just thinking, you've had such a full career. You've been in the business now for almost 20 years. Uh, and yes. of course, starting out as a beauty pageant winner, then actor, then producer. Last year, you know, making your debut on a streaming platform. Uh, tell me what keeps you really motivated? What keeps you engaged with the business? I think that was one of the key reasons why I actually did a whole lot of more sort of comic genre films through my career. Because I felt that that gave me the opportunity to break away from that entire glamour, you know, kind of roles that you were slotted into incessantly. Uh, mm -hmm. Because people couldn't seem to get beyond the thing that, you know, that you were an ex-beauty queen or an ex-Miss Universe and things like that. So I felt quite uh, underutilized, I would honestly say, as an actor uh, in through a lot of those 18 years of my career. And uh, this is an incredible time. I mean, the, the characters, even to play a character like Soumya Shukla on uh, the, the show that I chose to debut with on 100, uh, you know, she she wasn't just all, uh, you know, black or white. There was plenty of gray to her. She was unashamedly, you know, ambitious. You know, uh, I love also that, that your production company is called... Uh, uh, Bhigi Basanti Entertainment <laughs> because you're a big Shole fan, uh, which I am too. I, I tell you, there's never been a better film made yet. Uh, oh, yes. But but uh, also because you love the name Basanti, and you said that it it uh, is typical. It sort of represents the typical Hindi film heroine, but it also represents your temp. temperament, which I yes. found very intriguing. How does the name Basanti <laughs> represent your temperament? <laughs> Well, I think, you know, Basanti was always a little impetuous. She was a little fiery, you know, Basanti didn't take nonsense from anybody. <laughs> she yes. kind of put people in their place. Um, but also, I think, you know, with the name, it was difficult enough uh, when I chose to become a producer, uh, you know, for a woman becoming a producer in the industry. Today, you have a lot more uh, female actors who are producers, Deepika, Anushka, all of them. Uh, but at the time that I decided to do Chalo Dili, there weren't a lot. And uh, it's very, very difficult, especially as an actor, to sort of change gears and walk into, uh, you know, meetings with big uh, production houses or other producers or with big, uh, you know, platforms and uh, pitch an idea because they can't really see beyond you as an actor and especially as a female actor. So you may know the nuances, the creative, you know, angles of things, but they definitely don't expect you to know the business side of things. And uh, they find it extremely hard dealing with a woman on that. <laughs> you know, I want to ask you about that. You <laughs> became a producer in 2011 when this was not the done thing. Uh, uh, and, and what sort of prompted that? And is production still a priority for you? Yes, I think very much so. Uh, that really stemmed not so much from, uh, you know, a space where, oh, I wanted to do movies for myself or things like that. Um, I mean, of course, Chalo Delhi came to us as a film 
uh, that uh, Shashank Shah brought to us, brought to us, just saying that he wanted to make and he wanted to cast me in it. Uh, and at that point of time, it didn't have a producer attached to it. And I really loved the film. I don't know how many people have watched the film, but uh, you know, the idea was really to make films that were sort of small to medium budget films, but that were high on content. So the writing to me really, really appealed. And the fact that you had two characters in a movie that didn't necessarily have to have a romantic angle, uh, you know, both the male and female characters carried the film equally on their shoulders. Uh, it had a lot of, you know, sort of wit uh, and in conversation that went back and forth between the two. And uh, so it led actually quite organically to wanting to choose to produce uh, Chalo Dili. And uh, for whatever we're doing, even further, Anupama, we've chosen topics in, in content that for me, I was very clear that I wanted to, you know, really um, curate content that came out of India, but that had a, that resonated with a larger audience. So just had a bigger sort of a voice. So a lot of the things that we're doing right now are in collaborations with international uh, production houses as well. So a lot of them are stories that are, most of which are based on true stories that have come out of India, events and, and uh, people. And uh, they've just taken on, you know, a life of their own where, where obviously international studios also feel that there are stories that just translate across, uh, you know, regions and people and languages and all of that. And it's very exciting for us. So we have got uh, two or three quite big projects lined up that we've been working on for a while. And uh, yeah. I'm nice. Really so production is as much. <laughs> I'm not acting right. in them. You're there purely as them. producer. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> and tell me, you said somewhere in an interview somewhere that... Um, it's so liberating to be in your 40s. You really don't have to give a damn. Uh, tell me, what do you want to use this freedom for, Lara? What, what are the things you really want to do? So I've already started having quite a lot of fun with it. Uh, I mean, I did a film recently that actually asked me to be part of uh, a film called Bell Bottom. That for all intents and purposes, is a very big budget, you know, completely commercial sort of a film. But I'm playing a character in it that uh, for me is... Uh, on screen an iconic character to play you know and it doesn't i think today for me it doesn't really come down to you know what the length of the role is in a, in a project or you know whether it's uh, i definitely don't have to worry about how many songs there are in it because i've put all of that far behind me what a relief <laughs> and so i think i'm just at the liberty where today you're not I'm not playing to the audience anymore, to be really honest. And I think that that's the that's the wonder of today that you everybody has an you know even playing field that you're given the opportunity really to make content. And if the content is good, then you have these incredible breakout projects that really come through. And you know today an audience really decides whether they you know, it doesn't matter how much money you put behind something, but they really choose and decide what it is that they like or they don't. That must be so wonderful. And and tell me. Um, are there any movies, Lara, that have really shaped you as an actor? Is, is there anything that you go back to and watch again and again? Uh, so, I, I mean, it's, you know, these are those questions where I have to think really hard and remember those things. And they're like very philosophical questions. So more than that, I would just say, you know, I mean, for me, for example, uh, watching a film recently on screen like Ludo, uh, hmm. So refreshing, you know, and uh, fantastic to have the opportunity of, you know, watching something like this with again an ensemble cast, but what brilliant characters, you know, and you see a lot, uh, unfortunately, you see it only in the West where you see some really big actors come in for, to do films where they're only playing, you know, they're possibly there just for one scene or something like that. Yeah. And you've seen yeah. everybody kind of do it. And we always wonder who is the director of this film? How did he have so much clout to get these guys in? But it's not yeah. about that. It's about actors yeah. being so confident and comfortable in their own space that they just come in and do this incredible work on the screen and leave. So watching Ludo yeah. for me, just, you know, I think Pankaj Tripathi is just, I mean, it's, it's amazing. And, you know, watching Sabiras, Rajkumar yeah. Rao, Abhishek Bachchan, all of them hold their own, even Sanya Malhotra. I mean, just really great, fantastic characters. And then, of course, all credit to Anurag for holding these things together. You know, so when you watch stuff like this, it says that's what really drives you today as an actor. You know, you say, I want to do stuff like this. You know, it's not about uh, headlining a show or headlining a film or being, you know, what any of that stuff. Uh, and this is the things that kind of get the juices flowing. These are the things today that really drive you. <laughs> nice. Okay, Lara, it's time for our bucket round. Um, so I don't know what I'm actually going to ask you. These are just randomly put in here. And the first one is, uh, what is the show or film that you would recommend to our viewers? You know, something that you really love. First of all, they are the usual 
actual you know suspects that people a lot of people have watched enjoy the queen's gambit uh, you know which i love the story about the fact that it took 30 years to make yeah. the show uh, you know nobody yeah. wanted to watch a story on chess um, the crown was great uh, falda uh, if you like you know action and thriller and all of it uh, let me see what have i watched oh so what i would really recommend is not so much a show as it is a film watched a lovely little film with my daughter called soul so I don't know if people fabulous. have watched it yet. Oh, it's fabulous, fantastic, yeah. and I love you know animation as it is done so beautifully, and actually resulted in some very deep, in-depth conversations with my nine-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit of food for thought. Great to watch with your kids. Highly recommend. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, what's one of your films that you recommend that people should watch? Chalo Dilli. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lana, what's a test movie for you? A film that can make or break a friendship. So if there's somebody who doesn't like this film, you're like, okay, I can't be friends with you. So I actually <laughs> subjected my current now husband, <laughs> Ben Suter, to watch this Chinese film with me called The Hero. <laughs> I don't know if everyone's watched it. But it's this masterpiece film. What did he say at the end of it? He turned to you and said what? He said, yeah, that water sequence was very nice. <laughs> ah, well played. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> and Lara, last one. Which film, which released directly to OTT this year, would you have to like to see in a theatre? I actually wouldn't have minded seeing Ludo in a film. Me too. I actually, I, in a theatre. Because the I colours really... were so beautiful. Yes. Would have loved to see that on the big screen. Lara, this was so much fun. Lara, <laughs> thank you and cannot wait to see whatever it is that you choose to do next. Thank you. Thank you so much. Watch your favorite shows and movies from 11 entertainment apps all at one place on the big screen of your TV with Tata Sky Binge. To know more, click on the link in the description.